60% of the deployed nuclear weapons that the U.S. possesses are based at the uh, Trident Naval Base on the Kitsap Peninsula. Our state in particular is still suffering the environmental effects of weapons production over on the east side at, at the Hanford Reservation, where it seems like every week there's a new revelation of a leak or contamination. In Washington State, we have a coalition, which is uh, Washington Against Nuclear Weapons, which is a coalition of a number of different organizations uh, led primarily by Washington Physicians for Social Responsibility. And they have uh, a number of uh, resource materials and a lot of suggested actions. A, a primary focus of their work is advocacy with all of our congressional delegation, that is both senators and all 10 uh, members of the House of Representatives. We've been operating for about uh, a year and a half now and we have made some progress in that direction. So uh, Senator Cantwell, for example, has been researching nuclear weapons and the nuclear industry and slowly modifying her view as she becomes more aware and educated about the dangers. The group that's been active and the most active in the state for any number of decades is the Ground Zero Center for Nonviolence, which is located adjacent to the Kitsap uh, Trident base. They have actions where you can put your body on the line a number of times every year, but they also do trainings. They run advocacy campaigns and they run ad campaigns. They had uh, a few months back, they put ads on a number of the Seattle city buses to raise people's awareness of the danger and the presence of nuclear weapons within 20 miles of Seattle. My name is Nick Mealy. I live in Bellingham and I've been working on a nuclear abolition for a number of years on and off, but most recently for Pax Christi International.